This maximum security penitentiary is home to some of Canada's most notorious killers and one unlikely inmate, Jacques Delille. Mark Kelly. How do you do? Very well. How are you? He's 79 years old, frail and gaunt after three years here, a far cry from the prominent and powerful judge he once was. His fall from grace began in November 2009 with this 911 call. Delille told police Nicole Rainville, his wife of 49 years, shot herself. Rainville had suffered a stroke and was partially paralyzed and often spoke of suicide. But police had doubts after learning Delille was having an affair. They built a case that led to his conviction. It's about time that people know the truth. In a stunning confession, Delille says he didn't murder his wife, but he did help her commit suicide. Yes, she said, Jean, go and fetch the gun, load it for me and give it to me and leave me alone. Yes. Delille then left their condo, convinced she wouldn't use the gun. When he returned, he says she was dead. Almost everybody went to uh, pay a visit to the cemetery and often I asked Nicole, uh, did I do the right thing? <laughs> but he never told the jury his story. Delille reveals for the first time his family begged him not to testify in his own defense, convinced he'd be acquitted. That was, a, that was not a smart decision to make. That was a sentimental decision I made. I thought of my family first. Having exhausted all his appeals, the former judge is now considering his one last legal hope, a request to the Federal Justice Minister Peter McKay to review and ultimately reopen his case. Wendy? Thanks, Mark. The Fifth Estate's Mark Kelly. We'll have more on this story tomorrow night on The National. And Murder on the Judge airs at 9 p.m. Friday on CBC Television. You can also watch at cbc.ca slash fifth.